Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Vlogmas. Wow, I look really tired today. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah. Hi, hello. So, today is literally the same as yesterday, but I'm working out today. I'll film my workout for you guys. Um, essentially today I woke up, I had a Zoom client, so I do train a couple of clients through Zoom. They have like a bunch of home equipment and I write out their workouts for them and I just push them through the workout. A lot of the time people that ask me to train them on Zoom is just for like motivation because they know how to train. It's just like if I don't schedule that appointment with them, they won't train, you know what I mean? So I trained my client. I started doing stomach vacuums again you guys and that shit is hard like I don't know how some people hold their stomach vacuums for like minutes like I struggle to do 10 seconds basically what you do with a stomach vacuum is you exhale all of the air out so you completely exhale all the air and then you like draw your belly button into your spine almost like imagine there's like kind of like a belt that's tightening around your waist and you're really sucking it in all the way so you do that I do it like leaning forward like holding on to something you can do it like against a table against your sink i did it against my bed frame um you do that and you hold it for a few seconds and like this is meant to help with like especially in bodybuilding you really want those ratios to be on point you want your waist to look really tiny on stage and like doing stomach vacuums isn't going to make you lose belly fat or anything but it will strengthen what's called your transverse abdominus and like when that muscle is really strong it actually tightens so it just creates a smaller waist essentially and yeah so I'm just trying to get back into the habit of doing stomach vacuums because I know for me a weak point is the fact that I can't keep my waist cinched in whenever I pose and stuff so I'm gonna start doing those every single morning granted that during my off season I'm gonna be putting on body fat anyway so you might not notice like the fact that my waist is getting smaller underneath the body fat but you know if I start doing this now and I get into the habit of doing the stomach vacuums now every single day up until like let's say when I compete in like a year years time or like nine months time or something then it'll make a difference so I'm gonna start doing that every single morning I've tried doing this in the past then I gave up because I got lazy but now that I do have like the stage to motivate me I'm gonna do it every single morning and like the thing is you get better and better at doing it like as you do it more frequently like I struggled to hold it for like 10 seconds this morning I did three rounds I'm gonna keep on doing three rounds holding each round as long as I can building up to like 15 seconds 20 30 so I will keep you guys updated along the way um, how my stomach vacuums go but yeah so they're really good for just stitching in your waist but also they help with digestion as well that's what i've heard that like it can just help make your bowel movements a lot more smooth so yeah that is something i'm gonna start doing now every single morning and then i just had my pre-workout meal i had my oats pre-workout this morning i drank a monster as well at, like nine in the morning i'm training like earlier on today because i do have a shift to donut time later and i just need to train earlier and i don't like training fasted you can train fasted but i wouldn't recommend it just because like our bodies just do better with food in them like granted training fasted like if you're doing cardio maybe you don't need as much like strength or like out I don't know but I for me like I can't lift without food in me that's just me like I just don't feel as strong without food and I know that like for hormone health as well training fasted isn't great for your hormones so if you're someone that struggles with hormone health try and not train fasted if that's something you're doing so yeah I'm gonna do upper body today full upper body I'm doing chest back and shoulder I never actually talked to you guys about my split um, post prep because the last time I gave you guys an update was like last week of prep I filmed a week of workouts a week of training on prep for YouTube So back then my split was only five days I am training six days a week now because I added chest back in and because my body can handle more volume because I'm not like starving So I'm doing an upper lower split I do three full leg days and I do three upper body days two of my upper body days are full upper body so I do chest back shoulders and then I have one upper body day on Saturday where it's just back and shoulders because training chest three times a week is a bit much um like when you're a girl even when you're a guy but I find that for the rest like I personally prefer higher frequency and lower volume per session so my sessions aren't super long and I'm not doing like a crazy amount of exercises and sets per session but my total volume throughout the week is enough just because I'm spreading it out more evenly I prefer it that way if you prefer going to the gym less frequently but you prefer doing like longer sessions or more volume per session and like by all means just do it i just find that yeah um higher frequency lower volume approach suits me a bit better 
So yeah, I will talk to you guys through my upper body workout today as well. Um, but yeah, in other news, this is my last week of uni of the year actually, because obviously December and I go back to uni in January. So like my online classes start again in January. So I'm gonna be not as busy these next few weeks, but knowing myself, I always find ways to fill up my time. So I'm gonna be working on some eBooks. I know that I really wanna release a workout guide that's gonna be very different from like what my online coaching is obviously because with the workout guide you just get the program and like an explanation of the program and that's it like it's not tailored to you it's not tailored to like fat loss from like gaining weight or losing weight because that's obviously food right so there's nothing like it has to do with nutrition in the ebook it would just be like a program but let me let me know if any of you guys would be interested in purchasing an ebook planning on releasing an eight week glute focused program so obviously this is more geared towards my female following i know there's a lot of guys that follow me as well i will be doing a more like male focused program that has more chest and arms in it but this one is more of a glute focused guide geared more towards females so if you're a girl and if you want more structure to your training let me know if you'd be interested in purchasing an ebook how much are you willing to pay for an ebook it includes literally everything you need to know about training how to warm up how to cool down warm up sets how to choose the weight that you want to use different exercise progressions substitutes demo videos like how to you know how to arrange nutrition around training how to plan your pre-workout meal post-workout meal all the sets reps rest times exercises all that jazz so that's something i want to release in january so hopefully by next week i'll have a lot more time to work on that but yeah that's essentially my plans for the day i will catch you guys at the gym guys look at his waist look at andre's waist i think you should do like bikini 2021 you should compete that waist the booty ratio <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I thought I would do like a voiceover to explain my workout for you. So essentially, I am starting with chest. I always like to start with chest because it is more like a strength focused thing. I keep the rep ranges low and I train chest just because I enjoy it, not because I want like big pecs or anything. So I just started with an incline dumbbell press. I did four sets of six to 10 reps. The 16s, the 18s felt okay. So then I went up to the 20 kilo dumbbell and I managed to do six reps which I'm very happy with so I started with that of course I did a couple of warm-up sets beforehand super duper important to do at least one to two warm-up sets before doing your working sets Then the second exercise I did was a slow controlled bench press. So essentially I'm arching my back to protect my shoulders, but also because I do like the bench for strength. So I do a more power lifter style arch and I just did three seconds on the way down with 40 kilos. I did four sets of six reps. So after I finished chest, I did back. So I started with some chin-ups. I do strength for these as well. So I do them completely unassisted and I just do as many reps as I can every single set. So for me, that was four sets of six reps. You can tell that like towards the end, my reps are not as good quality as the first rep. So this is my first set that I did was pretty good. And this is the last set that I did. You'll notice that like it was a lot harder. I'm trying to not use as much leg drive as I am right here, but every single rep I make sure I do full range of motion, chest facing the ceiling, and I just get my chin above the bar every single time to keep my reps consistent. Next, I did a lat pull down with a three second negative. So you can see here, every single rep, I am retracting my shoulder blades and pulling my shoulders down and back. I'm slowing down the negative just because we are stronger on the negative portion of the movement. And I get like a really good mind muscle connection with these. So I did three sets of about 10 to 12 reps.
And then my last exercise for back, I did a cable pullover. So you want to start with the cable at the highest setting and you want to be almost parallel to the ground of the torso and you're essentially keeping your arms nice and straight or with a slight bend in the elbow. This really isolates the lats. And I did three sets of 12 to 15 reps here and I did a drop set. So I did as many as I could with my working weight, dropped the weight, and then I kept on going to failure as well. And then finally, I moved on to doing some shoulders. I started with a seated dumbbell shoulder press. I was doing four sets of about eight to 12 reps. So here, you really wanna make sure that you're not overarching your back. A slight arch is completely normal, but you really wanna be planting your feet into the ground to be nice and stable. Make sure you're doing a full range of motion, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. And I just did these all to failure as well. Next to hit those side delts, I did a lateral raise. I was using plates here purely because I wanted a five kilo um, weight in each side. I was doing slow negatives. So every single time on the way down, I just counted three seconds, just with some extra added time under tension. And again, here I did three sets of 12 to 15. All right, guys, upper body workout done. I am like rushing to the library. I had to skip rear delts. So normally on a good day when I'm not rushed, I will do rear delts at the end. I do, the only thing I do for rear delts is the reverse pec deck because I don't really feel my rear delts properly using anything else. Like if I do like a cable rear delt fly or a dumbbell rear delt fly, like I feel it in my traps more than my rear delts. The only machine or the only exercise that gives me a good mind muscle connection with my rear delts is the reverse pec deck. So normally on this day in my program, like I have drop sets on that machine um but basically i'm rushing because with like covid um and like with the library booking system like you have to book specific time slots and they're very limited and i have to be there before 12 30 otherwise i can't make it in and like i need to go to the library i need the wi-fi to upload um a video and because i have a lecture as well so i'm just walking there now What's really convenient is my library is literally like an eight minute walk from the gym. So just walking there now, it's like 12, so I'm okay. I just want to make sure I was there before 12.30. So, and anyways, like I have rear delts in my program like three times a week. So if, I, if, if it's like one day where I don't do them, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I will catch you guys, I don't know when, later at some point if something fun happens today. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that little upper body explained type thing. And yeah. The other day when I was like, I'm gonna try and wear more normal clothes and not be in gym clothes anymore, that did not last very long. It's only Thursday and I'm literally in leggings already. Update from Delta time. I'm having like my oats a bit earlier today. It's seven, just because the day before my check-in, I'm not gonna lie, I do eat a bit earlier on purpose because yeah, I just want Paul to increase my food tomorrow. Like, although my hunger has gotten a lot better, like, since that um, since that video where I told you guys I was freaking starving, um, I'm still trying to get him to increase my food. So literally, I'm just having my oats now, and then when I go home, I have some macros left to have something a bit lighter. You guys, it's the second day in a row, I don't have a spoon, so I'm legit eating my oats with a freaking fork, which is really sad. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I eat like before bed. It's a nice macro cap and like, yeah. That's basically my life guys. Just me in this really empty cold store with my computer doing work, so. Okay guys, so it is like 10, 15 p.m. It's quite late. I just got home just because the bus took forever. I came home to the Balance Athletica shorts being delivered i ordered these shorts like three months ago during like the pre-order pre-sale you guys don't know balance athletica they're like this american activewear brand and their stuff is so pretty and i ordered two pairs of shorts that i had completely forgotten about because it's been three months oh my god the material is buttery soft you guys like they don't have this collection anymore but they have this like material and this fit i'm gonna show you guys the shorts in a sec it's just they're so soft like they're so soft. Wait, let me show you.
I can't wait to train legs and knees tomorrow, you guys. Like, also tomorrow's check-in day and I'm really excited for some reason. I don't know why I just have like a fingers crossed feeling that Paul might increase my food. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna put some um, self tanner on because look how fucking pale. Ooh, shoulder. Look how pale I am. Like I need to be a bit more tan. I find that I like just feel so much better about myself when I'm tan. So I'm gonna put some fake tanner on that I'll show you guys what I'm having before bed. It's different today. I promise it's different. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys what I have right before going to bed. If you're not taking creatine already, I'd highly recommend it. I take it like whenever I remember to take it on this particular day. I completely forgot until like the end of the day, which is why I'm having it right now before going to bed. So you just want to have five grams every single day. You can put it like in anything. I just have it with my water because I have the unflavored one. And then right before bed, I had 60 grams of this low calorie ice cream right here. So I just scooped that out. This is the best one in my opinion. I just wish I could find it like in more supermarkets. I can only find it on Avocado online for some reason. But yeah, I just had that and then I also had some wafers and that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!